Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you how to add uh, video links at the end of your video to drive traffic back to your site, back to your videos, and hopefully get you guys more subscribers and more hits. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, what I do is I have a file already saved with my ending pieces, so it's the same every time. And usually when I make a new video, I just open my ending one, and then I start, that, start it with that, so it's already there. We'll go ahead and open that. And you can see my ending consists of a picture that I did in Photoshop and then an, a, a cl my clip of my audio track that I use. And that's, that's where we're, this is where we're going to place our video links. So we'll go ahead and we'll just drop some random video clips in here. And we'll put one in our timeline. And what I do is I put my picture down for maybe like 20 seconds. So 20 second portion at the end of end of your movies, you can have it play uh, video links, which will be clickable back back to your 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 site and your videos. And you put I put a picture in my main Photoshop, the audio. I linked them together so they move in unison. I put them on the outer two tracks that way they won't overlap with whatever's on my main video track. And then you just line them up at the end of your video so when it goes and your video is finished it will go into your your video link page and now you just have you have to have two other videos so hopefully you save previous YouTube videos that you make and you're gonna put those in here drop them on new uh, video link layers and then since these have audio attached and we don't want the audio to play with ours click on the the ones that you're gonna link and click unlink right click and then unlink delete the audio do the same for the other one right click unlink this will let you delete the audio because you don't want any audio playing you just want to see the video and you want like your background music or whatever you're going to use and then you want to trim them off so they'll they'll end at the same time that your your video is going to end but since that one's already looks like it's short enough we'll just go ahead and stretch this one out so it's as long and that one just a little bit so now we got our videos, but they're all kind of overlapping. So go ahead and click on your video, click edit controls, click on your motion and scale. Go ahead and shrink that down a little bit more to whatever size works best. What was that one? 38. Go ahead and click this one. 38.7. There we go. And now we have our two videos on here. And now you'll see when we play. The end of our uh, the end of your video will come up, and then it will go to your video link portion. And now what you'll do is you'll just simply render your movie out like this, and then you're going to go ahead and upload it to YouTube. So we'll go to YouTube, and then after you upload it. After you uh, after it's completed upload loading, you'll go to your annotations, and then you'll just go to that portion of your movie. Pause it real quick here, and then you can see you just draw over your um, spotlight boxes over your where you inserted your video clips, and you can add a little text of what the next video that links to it is. You can link back to your channel, and you can link to a subscribe. So this adds kind of a, a finished thing to your. Uh, your video that will offer a link back page it'll give you more hits and drive more traffic to your site and it really really is helpful and pretty easy to do so i hope you guys enjoyed my video thanks for checking it out um you can check it out right here how how it kind of works skip ahead to the very end and now you can see now you have the clickable links that will take you back to other videos subscribe back to your channel pretty easy to do thanks for watching guys